Hi, welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to start a new topic that is also related to Yocto, which is DevTool. In this video, we are going to introduce DevTool to ourselves. So what is DevTool? We will going to learn about some DevTool features, the basic DevTool and a basic DevTool example. So what is DevTool? The Yocto provides and other tool just like Pitbake for the developers. So the dev tool is used basically for three main reasons. Add, modify and upgrade. So what are these three things? The add means to create a new recipe. Previously we have created recipe with hand but dev tool makes it, it much easier. We need to still do some manual work but a lot of work is already done with dev tool. The next task of the dev tool or the main use of the dev tool is modify. The dev tool is used to modify the sources. It means that using dev tools we can write the patches for our recipe. And the third one is upgrade. So for the upgrade means that we upgrade our recipes. It means that previously we are using some different version and now we have a a different version of the same recipe so in so first of all let us source our environment source environment so right now we are here inside our build previously as you know that we can use the pit bake but you here you can also see that dev tools is a common recipe task so other common useful commands so here is dev tool so if we explore a bit in dev tool dev tool minus h so here we can see a lot of information and here is the beginning work on a recipe so these are the three main tasks that we do or three main uh, objectives that we can achieve using DevTools is the add a recipe, modify the source of an existing recipe, it means to create a patch and then upgrade an recipe. So the other are like helping and, <coughs> and testing for these three tasks. So we can also build, rename, we can edit recipe and update recipe, reset, finish and such as uh, we have also like deploy target so it means that we can also deploy our recipe using ssh to the target and we can test that uh, binary or that uh, output into our final image or into our running system and then we can also undeploy it so these are the some basic commands or the basic uh, sub commands of the dev tool that we will explore in our future videos right now let us see what how to add a recipe so for to add a recipe what we can do is we can write dev tool add and minus h for the help you can do same for all other sub commands so h and here we can see that there is also a comprehensive description for how to add so it says here that first of all there are three main arguments recipe name source tree and fetch uri the recipe name you can give any recipe name source tree is by default is it will tell you what is by default it will be inside the workspace source and then there is a fetch uri the fetch uri can be a get can be any external uri from which you will be fetching your source so if this is not given then it will be automatically the this and the fetch URI we will see furthermore there are other some sub or other some options that we can use for example auto revision so it will take the when fetching from a git repository uh, a source revision in the recipe to the floating word revision so it will be auto revision a binary and some other options now one more thing is when we run the dev tool or uh, dev tool add uh, let me 
two dev tool once edge once more so here you can see create workspace <coughs> first of all we need to create a workspace where we will be doing the experiments with our new recipes or with our already existing recipes but <coughs> if you do add modifier upgrade dev tool will automatically create a workspace for us so in this exam here in this video we are using our previous example the example from my git if you go to my git there is a bbb example so for and it, that contains the a basic bbb example code a simple c code so using that recipe or using that code that source not the recipe we will create a recipe with our dev tool so to create it first of all we need to do dev tool add and then we need to give the name of the recipe which is hello dev <coughs> it can be anything and then the third thing we have to give the we need to give the the source path the fetch uri which is in this case i have fetched it is this so now i will press enter and dev tool will do the magic So now, as you can see that in our build folder, it has created a workspace here and within the workspace, it has created a dev tool underscore get dot bb. This is the recipe that has automatically been created from the dev tool. So if you see now, it's here one extra folder workspace, we'll go inside workspace. Here you will see appends, cons, recipes and sources. In recipes, we will all the new recipes, if you do add, so the, re the new recipe will be added into the recipes folder. If we do upgrade or modify, that would be added to append. And if you do, and there will be also the source where our source are unpacked. So first of all, let us go to our recipes. And here you can see there is a hello dev folder and here you can see there is a our recipe so now if you see the recipe so here we have a license the license file checksum and this is the interesting thing that uh, it automatically took to our fetch uri and put it into src uri variable and then our version and also the source revision that it has fetched from uh, our github then it creates automatically the work directory uh, the source directory inside work directory git and furthermore you can see that there are three uh, blank tasks do configure do compile and do install these are blank because uh, the recipe doesn't know how to how to what to do with the source file how to execute it or because uh, we don't have any make file or we don't have any other building uh, tool uh, embedded with our code right now so what do we have right now is if you go inside our source and here in recipe and here you can see that we have here we will be example dot c and dot h uh, let us look both of them so you probably know this code because we have used this earlier so here now this is empty but uh, it will not print anything because we have we need to do some we need to do some configuration so just like our previous recipe that we did with our hand so right now we have a kind of uh, template and now we will do 
power configuration echo so what what i'm doing right now is very very specific to the code files that i have so it is not something uh something common something general define go by for it to So what it will do is, it will put these two configurations into uh, this file because we need we, we want to print these two examples, and then again, it doesn't know how to compile. So we'll do our compiler variable with C flex then we need to compile our sample.c object and right now we can rename the object the output file that we want we will say it hello def and then what we will do is yeah we, have, we need to do only th this line in the compile and then we'll do install for install first we need to Tell it to create into our destination user bin. I would say, and then, <coughs> and then I will copy or install with this. Uh, source from source we have our source inside source we have hello dev to our destination folder which is destination user bin so I will save it and then now what we'll do is we'll do build Coming back to workspace, dev tool build pv or hello dev because we named it hello dev. So now it will build it. It's building, building, building. So here we have some error, C flags, okay, the stall sign is missing, so you can also see that it also throws errors. Again, some error do it this time. Mm. <coughs> ah, it's minus n, it's minus n, it should be minus m. Okay, we will write so these. Uh, Outputs, uh, error outputs are also very useful. They, we can use them to debug. Again, So I found it once again it is if you see here so it's not uh, bracket but forward slash now let us build it once again so 
So this time it's doing do package. And it is built successfully. So now if you go to workspace and inside our sources, here you can see this time we also have our binary. So this is how, uh, this is the intro, this is the just an example how we can create a recipe, but how to deploy and test the recipe, how to put this into our meta layers and uh, then furthermore we will do how to modify the source code, how to update the recipe, how to upgrade the recipe, all these things we will learn in the coming uh, videos also how to create a recipe for the make file how to for the cmake for the auto tools all of that we are going to learn in this uh, new topic of dev tool so hope you like the video please uh, like and subscribe my channel and uh, i will see you in the next video thanks for watching